Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Technique Steelhead 2 diode spot LED work lamp available in a black aluminum as well as a white aluminum finish. Now if you're wondering what 750 lumens in a spot pattern looks like, well this is our light pattern. You can see it's about 7 foot, I'm about 15 foot away from the lamp so it really does keep that light concentrated and not just blowing out. Now if you do want a wider light pattern there's also a flood one available and that's going to really illuminate a wide space rather than focusing the beam on a smaller area. Now the light is sold individually, but as you can tell, you're able to actually put it in pairs and you can actually put multiple lights. And that way you can actually have your beams kind of shine wherever you need to, or you can actually point them at the same direction and really illuminate it nice and bright. So, and that's the great part about having the pedestal base is being able to custom fit exactly where that light needs to go. So as you can see, I can actually move this light kind of wherever we need to go. And having that spot pattern really keeps it concentrated exactly where I need it to be. So if I need to look at two different spots, that's no problem. Or if I really just need to illuminate one good spot like this, you can also do that as well. While actually testing our spotlights, uh, one of our coworkers, Joe here, needed a little bit of light. And you can see having that spot beam puts it directly where we need to be. And that's gonna make sure that that light is gonna be nice and bright, right where he needs it. Taking a closer look at our light, you're gonna see that it has two diodes that create that 750 lumens. Now, as far as space, we have a three inch wide here by two inches tall, as well as two inches deep. So this is gonna be a nice compact shape to mount pretty much anywhere you need to, but still get a lot of light coming out of here. Now, you're also gonna notice this black powder coat finish. It's also available in white aluminum as well, but that's gonna create a nice outer coating that's gonna protect the light over a long period of time. Now, another thing that's gonna protect it is the fact that it's waterproof. So this being outside of your camper or truck, mounted out of it, is not gonna be an issue at all as it can hold up to that. Now, going along with some of that durability is gonna be the military grade circuit board that they use is gonna hold up over time. So if you have some vibration going off roading or anything like that, it's not gonna knock those wires loose. Another nice feature is the integrated heat sink here, and that's gonna help dissipate the heat that the light creates and prevent it from getting damaged from any heat related uh, operations. Now, also, you're gonna see the pedestal mount that we showed earlier, being able to move this light in really any direction you need it to is gonna be really nice. And as far as mounting up goes, we actually have a mount here on our roof rack, but it really it's just one bolt that goes down with a locking nut on the bottom. So you can have a bunch of different brackets that'll work for you. In fact, we have quite a few here at eTrailer that you can pick from, or if you're just mounting to a solid surface like a headache rack or a push bar or something along those lines, you can simply just drill and make sure you have that nut tightened on the back and you'll be good to go. As far as the electrical wiring of it, the installation is super easy as there's only just two wires that's gonna to go to your positive and negative. And while we're on that, let's actually take a look at how we got it installed on this camper. Now we're gonna be installing this six LED floodlight, but if you pick up a different variety of LED lights, they're gonna have the same two wire installation. So following this is gonna be pretty much identical to what you'll be doing with your LED light. To begin your install, you're gonna to want to find a place to tie into power and ground. Now this particular Campbell has a distribution panel that has a switch already into it. So we're gonna be using this. But if you don't have a distribution panel, there's plenty of switches available here. And that's gonna allow you to turn that on and off and cut that power whenever you don't want those lights to be on. But you are gonna to need to tie into that power of your battery as well as the negative to get these to work. Now we already have our switch installed, but if you were to wire up your own switch, here's an idea of kind of how it's going to look. You're going to have your two wires coming from your battery, your positive and negative, and those are simply going to tie into the same spade connector as your wiring that's going to go to the light itself. And really your switch is just a disconnect. Doing this is going to allow that power to actually create a full circuit. And when you close that off, it's going to shut it off here. So pretty easy. So if you need to wire up your switch, here's a nice diagram on how to do that. Then from your switch, you're gonna to want to run a positive and negative duplex wire to wherever your mounting location be. So on our camper, we're actually putting it on the back here on our Rhino rack. If you have a truck, maybe you're putting it on your headache bar or your front push bar, whatever it may be. So make sure that you have enough wire to be able to run there. And if you need to pick some up, we actually have some here at eTrailer. 
Now, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is determine how you want to mount your light. And here we actually have a heavy duty bracket specifically for the Rhino rack that goes in the track here, which is really nice. Now you may not have this identical rack, which there's plenty of other options available for a mounting bracket. And really all you need to do is make sure that this is actually run through and clamped on. You can see I've actually added a washer here just for a little bit of extra bite. So if you were mounting it on to a solid surface, maybe the roof here, you could actually just drill down, run that through and make sure that that tightens up. This is a carriage bolt style up top on the bolt, so that's nice. It's gonna hold it in place as we tighten it down. So on the back side, you're gonna see we have two wires coming off here. So we're just gonna match our corresponding wires. Black is gonna be our positive, white is gonna be our ground. Now we're gonna be using spade connectors just because we're gonna be test fitting quite a few lights here. It's gonna make for a quick and easy disconnect to put the next light on. But if you're routing this and it's gonna live outside the vehicle or any of the wiring's gonna be outside the vehicle, I highly suggest picking up some heat shrink butt connectors. And these are really nice because once you actually crimp these down, you take a heat gun, these are gonna cinch around, creating a watertight seal. So that way your connections aren't gonna get corroded or get brittle over time. These are gonna hold these in place really nicely. And then your next step is gonna be running some wire loom or something to keep these wires protected just for an added clean look. It's kind of up to you. If you can tuck these wires into something to hide it, that's going to be great, but you're going to want to make sure that they are tucked away so things don't catch them and they stay protected. Now, once you have your wires connected, really all you need to do is turn the power on to the actual camper or the vehicle, hit your switch, and then also adjust where you want this to be. Now, it's gonna be pretty simple here. You can see that it's gonna be able to pivot 360 degrees as well as rotate a bunch of different angles. So really getting it dialed in to where you're gonna be using it. Um, so, you know, if you're hanging outside your camper and you want this to kind of flood out where you're gonna be hanging out, that's no problem. You just simply aim your light beams and then just tighten these up and then you'll have it fixed exactly where you want it. And that was a look and installation of the Technique Steelhead 2 diode LED work lamp available in black aluminum as well as white aluminum.